Right, here we go. This is Infulus, and I'm gonna give you a tutorial. It's a signature tutorial, so yeah, you guys know that. Yeah, I do Photoshop. This is CS4, as you can see, and I don't know if this is gonna work with the um, because I have Camtasia new Camtasia now, so I can hopefully show you how to do some stuff. Anyway, this is kind of just showing you how to make a good background for a signature. I don't want to show you how to make a full signature because I honestly can't find any good render that I want to use. So yeah. Here we go, I'll show you. We'll start with a blank. Uh, we can get a background, any background, but any color you want. But I use, usually use black and white and then color it in later. Um, the size of this is actually 450 by 120. That's my favorite size anyway. Anyway, you make a new layer now because we have one that's fully white. You make a new layer. You get your paintbrush. And I used to, you probably remember that I used to have loads of brushes here, but I still have them, but not in this area kind of thing. I now use now I go to load brushes and I go to my PS brushes here. Now I'm gonna use um, this is I don't know if this is the right place. Mr. Here we go. I'm gonna use abstract versus grunge to hit load, and it should load the brushes in beneath the ones you just had, which you can kind of see. They look pretty cool. Ah, this is how you, this is where the this is the one where you all wanted to know what it was called. It's called Abstract versus Grunge 2 by Alias. Go and find that. Go type Abstract versus Grunge 2 and you'll find it because this is all the cool looking brushes that we have here. I just realized because this is the one everyone wanted. This is the one. Go and get it. Anyway, we now have a white background. I'm gonna switch it to black, and we're just gonna kind of brush in some uh, black. Area. There you go. There. Um, maybe some in the middle there. And it's actually a very nice set of brushes. So you can see we have quite an easy amount of, uh, quite a nice amount of. You can actually get quite a nice effect by just brushing in various places. I'm going to make another layer. We'll switch it to white again, and we're going to change it. I think to maybe this one, and so this one maybe. Um, some of this. this is basically just done off the top of my head. I didn't really want to look kind of bored. I'm not doing anything, so yeah. We're going to put a bit more white there and there. I actually quite like this brush, so I'm going to switch the color to black and use it here and there and there. And we're going to find we're on layer four now, so we can start really beginning to think about what we're going to. Actually, no, I don't like that one. Control and Z to remove it. I don't like that either control which we get. I'm gonna just use the top part of that which is there and I'm gonna use of course everyone's favourite, the big spiky one, just like this. There we go. As you can see this gives a lot of flow, it gives a flow like this. So yeah. Anyways, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna to go to I actually think we can merge all of these now to make it into one background layer. So hit control and E on the keyboard to merge down, and we now have this. Next, I would either you can either go to layer, new adjustment layer, and do it. So if you want to edit later, or you can just go to image adjustments and pick one. Now the one I'm going to use is actually color balance, which um, is here, and you just want to mix the colors up a bit so that you can get some good color going. Um, you can see if you edit the thing, it kind of edits, so you can just make it green with yellow. And Blue, whatever you want to do. We're just gonna give it a nice. I'm gonna give it a nice blue kind of color. So quite deep blue and cyan. That's the mid tones. You want to click. You want to have preserved luminosity on, by the way, um, just for the ease of it. So we're gonna go to shadows now. And the shadows are gonna be really dark blue. We're actually, not gonna leave that dark. So um, I'm actually gonna leave it slightly more like almost like that in a way. That and highlights you want to make it quite light, less blue, kind of almost. Just mess around with this. This is the kind of thing where you get some fun out of it. There, now you have a nice blue layer. Now, what I'll do is I'll make a new layer, and this is just basically I'm showing you the start of a signature. You don't, there's no renders or anything like that. Um, and actually, I'll see if I can put a link to the brushes, but this, that's completely beside the point. We'll go to the magic wand tool, we select the inside. You want to hit edit stroke. You want to make a three pixel border of black inside and hit OK. 
Now you keep the same selection and you go to edit, stroke again, two pixels, this time of white, and hit OK. Same thing inside and hit OK. Finally, edit, stroke, one pixel, black, and hit OK inside. Inside, sorry, then hit OK. And you can see here we have this uh, very nice looking thing. Yeah, now you just go to change this. I like to change it from that to overlay, which gives this kind of pop through effect. And if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and find a render. I have no render to give you, so I, I'm just going to leave you to do that for yourself. Um, the last thing I would do is, and I haven't got any good fonts either, so you're going to have to kind of just bear with me with whatever font that comes up. But uh, you just click a font and you click, you'd write in whatever the thing is. My my YouTube name is Infilus, so I'll just write in Infilus. Change the color to maybe white in this particular case. And I'm going to change the font to something better. So I've no, I, this computer is quite new, so I haven't downloaded any new fonts yet. So you're going to have to just bear with whatever font I can find that's any good in this stupid computer. <laughs> um, I might as well just use Times New Roman actually. Which is um, kind of gay because I actually don't like it, but whatever. Um, like that. Anyways, that's fine. Now, my favorite way to go ahead with this is to just maybe lower the opacity a little bit to about, I don't know, 45%, maybe a bit more than that. 45% is where I like it. Double click and you get the blending options, the layer style, basically. Now the ones I usually always use is stroke, bevel and emboss with a contour selected and outer glow. Now the stroke you use is one pixel stroke of black if you use white color and white if you use black color. The bevel and emboss you're going to use is inner bevel is fine. You're going to choose, I choose chisel hard and the depth in that shit is fine. Finally, outer glow. The outer glow is screen mode is fine and you're going to choose a white color. Okay, and you're gonna bring the spread and the size up to a bit, just so it's you know visible. I in this section I have seven and ten, so I have a bit of a cold. So yeah, um, then hit OK. Now I think you can bring this opacity up just to see what it looks like, and you can see it's OK. I'd still bring the opacity down a bit more, so about fifty percent, forty-five to fifty percent. You can put your thing here or whatever, but this is basically how you make a background. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I mean, um, I enjoyed making it. I was bored, so yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully you can make some nice sigs. This is the same kind of thing, just download many brushes. I'll try and give you a brush, the brush link in the description. If I can't, um, just search for abstract versus grunge. That should give you a great effect, as you can see here. Thank you for watching. This was an in for this video, and uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribing would be awesome. I'll probably bring that um, the one of me asking for help down because there's no point in having it up anymore because I'm going to stick with Photoshop. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.